Hey, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you today how to create a throttle curve on your Turnigy 9XR using Expo. Somebody asked me recently, um, I believe it was on my uh, throttle curve video, how do you do a throttle curve using Expo? Okay, and, and this is something that came to my mind recently when I was screwing around with Expo on my transmitter. Um, and I went ahead and looked into it today, kind of messed around with it. I haven't actually flown using Expo type of throttle curve yet, um, but looking at the values change on the KK board um, and adjusting everything accordingly, I believe it'll work just fine um, without me having to fly it first and, and test it out. And, and I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through what I did right now to set it up. Okay, so one of the things that I have set up on my quad is I have a throttle limit. Now, you may or may not have to set this up, but for me, uh, when I set full throttle, okay, it goes to 93 is full throttle. Now, in the beginning, it was about 108, and, and the reason why I set a, a throttle limit is because when I would do full throttle before, my quad would actually yaw. It would it would spin as it was going up when I'm at totally maxed out full throttle, and um, and I would assume that's because one of my motors is more powerful than the rest. Um, so it was really annoying, and so I had to kind of lower the the throttle limit. And let me show you how I did that, just in case you have that problem. But if you don't, you can go ahead and skip this part of the video. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to I'll go to limits, and then my throttle uh, channel three is my throttle. So you just scroll over. Make sure it's not flashing. Scroll over to the right, and I changed mine to 75. And uh, that was kind of a little bit of a trial and error to figure out um, how low I had to go in order to max out, be able to max out the throttle, and not experience that that yawing effect when I'm, you know, when I'm going full throttle. So I kind of figured out on my own that 75 was the way to go. And it still gives me a lot of power. Um, it's not 75% throttle. It's the upper half of this throttle. 75% limit. Okay, so so after I set that, you may not have to set that, but let's go ahead and skip on to the next part. Okay, so to actually do expo for the throttle, I wonder if you can see this better if I... Okay, so we're in the Expo menu, menu 4 of 11. Go down to Throttle, Hold Menu. All right, so starting off with Throttle Expo. When you don't have anything set up in here, it'll look like this. Um, so what you want to do is start off with, so you, if you move your throttle up and down, you're gonna adjust. You're gonna be adjusting two halves, the upper half and the lower half. So I'll start off with the lower half. And for me, I want to put my expo actually around 70. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and the weight I'll just leave it like that. And then I'll move my throttle stick up a little bit to the upper half. And then I'll change the expo there to 70. And this is something that you may just have to play around with a little bit. Figure out what works for you. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. Now, another thing that I found out when messing with this Expo, because I, I was previously using a, a curve on this, not Expo for throttle, is that uh, putting my throttle dead center does not hover my quad so 
being that I was messing around with curves before, I figured out where exactly ho the hover point is. So it's it's just above it. And let me show you what it looks like. Let's see if I can, uh, okay. So there's my KK 2.1. And as you can see right now, the throttle is at 44, at 0, 93. All right, so right now, you can't see this on, this on the screen, but my throttle stick is centered. Now it says throttle 44. Now to hover my quad, I need throttle 50. Now you may not need 50, you may need 55, you may need 47, but that's something that you're going to have to figure out on your own. So uh, if I bring my throttle stick up just a little bit, just above halfway point, it'll look something like this. Okay, right about there. That's where my quad likes to hover. So throttle 50. Now, how do you obtain throttle amount of 50? but having your throttle stick centered right in the middle. Okay, so so let's go back here. Now you may not have to do this, but if you do need to, this is how you do it. Let's back out of this screen. Okay, let's go over to the mixer, channel three, hold down that, offset. Okay, so offset, I had to set my offset down or let's see up to uh, 15 I believe so now when I center my throttle right in the middle throttle is at 51 okay close enough maybe let me just tap it down just a little bit all right that's like 49.5 percent throttle right now okay so that's how you do it that's how you that's how you obtain throttle, a uh, hovering throttle at your stick right in the middle. If if you, for example, cannot hover your quad where the stick is right in the middle, maybe you got to be a little bit above. You can adjust the offset on here, and you can do that. You can center the stick, and the quad or multi-copter or whatever you have should hover. All right, so there's that step. Now, um, so I'm gonna back out of this menu and let's go to Expo again. So hold menu down there. So that's what my Expo looks like again. And so I'm gonna move it real slow, just like this. I'm gonna bring the bring this back into the screen here you should be able to see the throttle moving up real slow up and down and that would that's what you want you want the throttle to move really slow right around the center port of, of the stick okay and you know like I said before this is something that you're just gonna have to play around with figure out what works for you. If you have a lighter or heavier quad than me, uh, your numbers are going to be a little bit different, but it's definitely, um, you know, a place to start off with. So, so that's pretty much how you do that. That's how you do a throttle curve using Expo for the Turnigy 9XR.